innovation is the principal driver of prosperity. In this thought-provoking book, Martin Franzman illuminates how innovation happens and why it changes the nature of economics. Martin Wolf, Chief Economics Commentator, The Financial Times. My name is Martin Franzman and I'm Professor Emeritus of Economics at the University of Edinburgh. The title of my book is Innovation Ecosystems, Increasing Competitiveness. People all over the world know that the UK is in the middle of an intense and divisive debate about Brexit. However, whether or not Britain Brexits, the key driver of the future fortunes of the UK and its people is competitiveness. Competitiveness. But that raises the next question. What drives competitiveness? The answer is innovation. Innovation drives competitiveness. And therefore, innovation is crucial for both companies and countries. The title of my book is Innovation Ecosystems, Increasing Competitiveness. My book answers two key questions. The first question is, how does innovation happen? In other words, what needs to be done in order to make innovation happen? The second question is who makes innovation happen? In particular, is the entrepreneur becoming obsolete? My book explores the idea that innovation is the result of a system of causes. The system is the innovation ecosystem. Innovation ecosystems may be defined as that set of players and processes who jointly make innovation happen. I decided to write this book because although some excellent work has been done looking at innovation as the result of systems, insufficient attention has been paid to the two questions that I mentioned earlier. In other words, one, how does innovation happen? And two, who makes innovation happen? The intended audience for this book is twofold. First of all, scholars who are interested in innovation and competitiveness. And they include economists and other social scientists, scientists and engineers. The second intended readership is practitioners. In other words, people whose job it is to make innovation happen. And they include managers and others in companies whose responsibility is innovation, other organizations that are trying to bring about innovation, and also policymakers in governments and international organizations. As an academic who has worked all over the world for many years trying to explain the performance of companies and countries, as someone who has advised many companies and countries, and come to the conclusion that innovation is the key driver, I wanted to share some of my thoughts and insights with a wider audience. My hope is that my book will be found to be both interesting and also useful to this readership. The main lesson of my book is that the innovation process is extremely complex. However, 
the notion of innovation ecosystems is extremely helpful in enabling us to understand this complexity. Nevertheless, our ability to create innovation ecosystems and to control the output of innovation from these systems is inherently limited. And this means that uncertainty, frustrated expectations, mistakes and errors are also essentially a part of the innovation process. I'll give four examples. The first is how do companies like Amazon, Apple, Facebook, Google, telecoms companies like British Telecom and AT&T, companies such as Huawei and Ericsson, how do they all interact with one another in the ICT innovation ecosystem? The second example in the book is a very detailed analysis of how innovation happens and who makes it happen in the case of four key innovations that have literally changed the world. These innovations are the transistor, the microprocessor, the laser and optical fiber. The third example is the usefulness of the concept of innovation ecosystems for emerging countries. And the book takes the case of China and examines this question in detail. The fourth example is the study of the causes of the telecoms boom and bust 1996 to 2003 which had significant implications for the Great Recession that followed after 2007. Martin Franzman has been a leading scholar of what he has called innovation ecologies. This fine book provides a fascinating collection of descriptions and analyses of innovation ecologies at work, an important book for all who are interested in innovation. Richard Nelson, Professor Emeritus at Columbia University. In this book, Martin Franzman, drawing on his deep knowledge of high technology industries in Asia, Europe and the US, provides an illuminating analysis of the institutions and policies that constitute an effective innovation ecosystem. This is an original contribution to the study of innovation and one which will be valuable both for policymakers, entrepreneurs and managers. Sir Geoffrey Owen, former editor of the Financial Times.